Welcome back. Your time now is 844. We're going to take a look at our fire weather alerts. We are under breaking weather alert because of that fire danger as we head into this afternoon. We're seeing those red flag warnings all up and down I-25 here from the springs all the way south. We've got a couple up towards Denver and then out to our east. That's going to be for the wind that really never died down for everyone, but it's going to continue to pick back up as we head into the next few hours here. Our highs today are also going to be a little bit cooler. We're watching a system move into the area here, which is bringing that wind and actually a couple of showers for some folks. Also, these cooler temperatures 51 are high in the springs today, 58 for Pueblo, 42 are high today in Monument around 38 for Woodland Park, 50s around Canyon City, and we've got some 50s to lower 60s out across those eastern plains. We'll go through our hour by hour forecast here first. Uh, I don't think these showers are going to be the impactful part of our day. Really, the big thing is going to be that fire danger as we head into the afternoon, but I'll be obviously want to mention that we might see a sprinkler too. This gets us to about noon today, maybe a couple of those trying to creep across I-25, but I do think most of those stay to our north here and then maybe out east getting in on a sprinkler too. And then higher terrain is looking at quite a bit of snow and wind. So if you are in the mountains, travel is probably going to be pretty difficult. I just saw Monarch Mountain. They got about four inches of snow last night, but because of wind are only opening certain chairlifts today. So wind is certainly going to be our biggest issue and obviously our high fire danger. So for today, during the day, I think some 40 to 50, 55 mile per hour gust. Really, this wind is going to get even stronger this evening and into our overnight hours. That's when we're looking to see maybe some damaging wind gusts, potentially up to 70, 75, maybe a few isolated gusts up to 80 miles per hour, and that's going to be through tomorrow morning. So fire danger is going to stay high as we head into those overnight hours as well. Wind gust forecast here. You can see by the time we get into your lunchtime, those 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. We continue to hold on to those until about six o'clock after six. That's when we'll continue to get see those getting even stronger now. With gusts this high, I do think we could maybe see some power line damage, some tree damage. If you have any loose patio furniture that hasn't already blown away, maybe go ahead and get that taken care of as we head into our evening. That's when they get stronger by tomorrow morning. They'll quiet down a little bit, but keep in mind your Sunday is going to be a breezy day as well, just not quite as strong as today. So our wind is going to stay strong today and into tomorrow. We feel those temperatures in the 50s all the way through about Wednesday. Our next chance at a shower is going to be right around Tuesday of next week. That's what we're looking at for now. Temperatures around Pueblo 50s and 60s with those showers for Tuesday. Same story around Canyon City, Woodland Park. Remember, you might see a flurry today. I don't think It'll cause any issues. 30s as highs. We've got 40s for the majority of your week. Some of those showers by Tuesday as well. By the end of next week, those temperatures warming up just.